Now, we want to use the training database that we created in the previous exercise to train a machine learning algorithm. In our example, the machine learning algorithm will consist of an artificial neural network, ANN for short. Therefore, please open the Applications toolbar from the main menu, select the Agricultural Applications, click on the Vegetation Processor, and choose ANN Training. In the panel that pops up, we first select the LUT file that contains our simulated training data from the second folder of the dataset. Please note that the tool automatically sets some default values once you open the LUT file. For example, the tool automatically removes spectral bands beyond the spectral range of the radiative transfer model, as well as spectral bands affected by water vapor in open sky experiments. In addition, we check the box Perform PCA on the right to perform a principal component analysis, or PCA for short, with the default of 15 components before we run the model. Some machine learners do not perform very well when they are flooded with the large dimensionality of hyperspectral data that often include redundancy. Reducing the dimensionality using PCA has proven to be very efficient when using hyperspectral data together with machine learning algorithms. Then, we just need to set our output directory. I suggest using folder 3 and assign a name to the model. I just call mine AgriMove. Please note that, as for the previous tools, there is a button at the bottom of the panel that links directly to the Nmap Box website, where a detailed description of the tool is provided. So, now we are ready to run the model. Just click Run and wait. Depending on the size of the training database, the number of principal components, and the computing power of your machine, this process may take a little while. Go and get a coffee or take a walk with your dog. Phew, thanks for your patience, but keep in mind that the time that your computer was busy was needed for the algorithm to learn all the interrelations between the different input parameters of the model and the corresponding spectral signatures. Well, we are all done and ready to apply our newly trained artificial neural network to the airborne dataset to retrieve biophysical variables. Let's go.